Welcome to WB Mason Post Game Extra exclusively on SNY.TV. Thursday night, the Mets and Phillies played a makeup game. The Mets wish it had never been made up. They were beaten by the Phillies 16 to 1 before the fans had even settled into their seats. The Phillies put up an eight run first, knocking out Jeremy Hefner before he could record an out. They need some makeup after that pounding. Uh, he faced seven hitters, did not retire anyone. Nine hits were given up finally in that inning. They scored eight runs. They scored, uh, the Phillies scored seven runs in the ninth inning on a grand slam by Ryan Howard. Uh, Jimmy Rollins had a couple more hits here at City Field and three RBI. Uh, Juan Pierre had five hits. Chase Utley had four hits, so on, so on, so on. They had 21 hits total, and uh, just uh, one of those games that you really can't say too much. The, the pitching wasn't good early for the Mets, and the game was really over. You know, certainly we were behind the eight ball from the start, and that doesn't add to uh, a very positive uh, start to the game or a very positive attitude on the bench, but... Uh, I saw some things tonight that still are unacceptable. So, I want to win, you know, and I, um, I don't want to not get an out. I, I don't want to sit through third, sit through a whole nine-inning game that I started. You know what I mean? It's, it's very disappointing, and um, words can't even describe how embarrass, how embarrassing that is. Tonight, after we're down eight nothing, the game was over, and uh, no disrespect to Tyler Cloyd, none, none whatsoever, but. Uh, you know, three hits, please. No, we haven't quit. I mean, it was a tough start. Um, they swing the bat really well. Yeah, we didn't swing the bat really well today. You know, they jumped on us from the start, and and uh, it was kind of tough from there. The human nature of, of, of our business in, in, in sports, you can have letdowns. Um, some are expected. We've had a huge letdown in the second half, but... Uh, you know, you, you still got to come out and have some fun playing and, and enjoy playing and, and enjoy being out there. Um, people paid, paid money to see this tonight. You know, our fans, and not that we're going to win, not that we wouldn't have lost 16-1, to but not the way we lost it. I mean, it just, this is, this is the big leagues. You know, Terry's upset. You know, we're obviously upset. Um, you know, and, and, you know, rightfully so. You know, we've, we've been um, awful. And, uh, um, you know, when, when you play as, as poorly as we have, you know, there's going to be a lot of people upset. And Ryan Howard capped the debacle with his second home run in two nights off Josh Edgen, mm -hmm. an opposite field grand slam in the ninth. Yeah, you know, it was a chance for Edgen to really avenge what happened last night, but it only got worse. He had to face Utley and Howard like he did last night. Utley hit, he walked him last night, and instead of he gave up a two-run home run to Howard, this time a grand slam tonight. So it just got worse for Josh, and we think this is his last outing, and boy, what an outing to leave on. The record speaks for itself. Obviously, we're not playing good baseball, and... Um, you know, for some reason at home, it's, uh, um, you know, it's been really difficult um, in the second half. And I think, you know, you try to put your finger on it, you try to figure out reasons, and, um, you know, we've just not been able to find any answers. To have the, the bright spot that was the first half and have, you know, a ton of momentum going into the All-Star break and then, you know, kind of the complete opposite, just, you know, play as poorly as we have in the second half, you know, it's it's... Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, you know, a punch to the gut. It's, it's you know, it's, um, as I mentioned before, guys put a lot of time, a lot of effort, um, take a lot of pride in, in going out there and, and seeing results in this game, and, and we're not seeing them. So, yeah, I mean, guys are, you know, really upset. Um, you know, guys are embarrassed. A lot of records set tonight, not good ones for the Mets. They used 10 pitchers in a nine-inning game for the first time ever. They'll lick their wounds and welcome in the Marlins on Friday night for the first of three. John Neese goes for a career-high 12th win. He'll be opposed by Jacob Turner. 6.30 the coverage Friday night for Pepsi Max pregame live on SNY. That'll do it for WB Mason Post Game Extra. Be sure to join us after every game for exclusive coverage on SNY.TV.